Hi Libra, welcome to your week ahead Taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, remember these are general readings. Not everything's going to resonate with everybody. They are for your sun, moon and ascendant sign. Check them out for all three so that you know which part of you I resonate with most as a reader. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good so for your key to the week and i just want to mention if you are a continued subby you know raffi loves shirt and if you're new to my channel please don't forget to like share and if you should so choose and it resonates and you want some of this raffi love hit that subscribe button for your key to the week this week you've got the hanged man right so this week in all of these different areas of life in life in general you are being encouraged to slow down take a moment take a beat this card is a card of reassessment and reevaluation. yes it is waiting patience and stillness it's all of those things absolutely but when this card shows up you're being asked to really understand the situation that you currently find yourself in so in all of these different areas of life take a moment take a beat and ask yourself where am i in life right now in all of these different areas of life that we're about to explore take a moment to really understand where you are at this moment in time and more importantly how you really feel about that for your actions and options, you've got the Three of Wands. So it's an interesting card, right? Because the Three of Wands can be seen as surveying the land, right? Waiting for your ship to come in. But with this uh, hanged man energy, this is there are a lot of moves that it looks like many of you want to make right now. You are looking at the horizon. You're asking yourself what comes next currently, right? And the Three of Wands as an actions card, this is really about moving forward. And it's also about expanding your vision. Sometimes the only way you can really expand your vision is to really understand exactly where you are and what the options are that are available to you. Now, in terms of the options that are available, there is an option to expand your vision. There's a chance here for you to really gain some powerful insight and also to move forward all right but this is going to require you to really understand where you are where you are at right now for your communications and conversations you've got the queen of pentacles usually an earth sign woman taurus capricorn virgo this could be somebody who you know maybe you have a conversation with or a communication with that actually really opens up your perspective in some regard or brings you and your ideas and your energies to ground in some way now for those of you that are studying or in some form of academia one of the ways that this can potentially show up for you is you get a deeper you get like you get a deeper sense of where whatever it is that you're studying can take you where you can go from here where it is that you can effectively move forward and more importantly how you can use whatever it is that you're studying in ways that you can't currently see at this moment in time because you're in the thick of it for those of you that are employed by somebody else this queen of pentacles especially because you've got the hanged man if you're employed by somebody else when was the last time you took a self-care day uh, and this doesn't just mean sort of bubble baths and chocolates and all the rest of it. Like, I mean, a real self-care day where you actually took time to look after yourself, to really consider where you are, um, not even to consider where you're at, but just to really take time out of your work to understand how it is or isn't supporting you. The Queen of Pentacles can be about self-care and it can also be about increasing the yield. What this tells me is you have plans to add more to your plate. And the Queen of Pentacles is saying not right now, especially in conjunction with that hanged man energy. For those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, where are the foundations of your business right now? This is not to say that there's any problems or issues. It's just to say, where are your foundations at this moment in time? What are the foundations of your business and what do they look like? Are they good? Are they solid? Are they clear? Because if they're not, moving forward or adding more to the part or, or more to the plate is not going to be the way forward right this is really asking you to conserve rather than dilute your energies for those of you that are retired and no longer working your queen of pentacles especially with the hang uh, uh, sorry especially with the the three of wands this could be a journey or a trip or a holiday of some sort that you have planned but unfortunately it looks like there's some form of a delay there 
and this may be because of the financial aspect of things but it could just as easily be because your work or your current circumstances need some sort of interaction right you need to sit still in order to kind of look at things and say yeah okay this needs to be fixed now right this needs to be sorted this needs to be adapted in some way for your love and relations you've got the seven of pentacles right so another if there were ever a word right that i wanted to give you with all of these cards here it's patience right this week is going to require patience from you in ways that maybe you can't even fathom at this time all right like this is the big message here now when it comes to your relationship for those of you that are partnered married or in long-term commitments again adding more to the plate is not necessarily the way to go and you are being asked to consider not even to consider like you're being invited to sit still and to acknowledge things exactly as they are so that you can make the right for the right next steps when it comes to your relationship a lot of the communication is really about checking in on the health of the relationship are we in a good place Do, are we both driving towards the same things because you know the message that i'm getting from these cards to be honest about your relationship is it's kind of like the chariot right that's great it's heading forward but what happens when it gets uneven road right it starts to teeter onto one wheel at this moment in time stop look listen right we had this campaign here in the uk for for the young people like when we were children it was like when you come to a road stop look and listen this feels very much like that you're being exercise asked to exercise some real patience here for those of you that are single and looking this is really assessing the relationship history that you have and asking yourself what did i get right what did i not where can my relationships improve and where can my relationship style be adapted or adjusted in some way for your money and materials you've got the seven of wands what do we see here two sevens two sevens represents news so this is some kind of news coming in around a financial matter uh, because it's the seven of wands as the second seven this tells me that the the potential news that's coming in has a financial slant to it and it may look right you've got the seven of wands with the hanged man your first instant your first result or your first sort of knee-jerk reaction might be to kick off my advice to you would be to acknowledge things as they are first get the lay of the land really understand so that you can reassess reevaluate and then make the right steps moving forward the other thing is when it comes to your physical health and vitality your hormone system is all over the place at the moment and potentially for some of you your immune system now i'm not a doctor i can't give you medical advice um this is not a diagnosis in any way shape or form always defer to your you know disclaimer 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 uh, all of that stuff but what i can tell you is i know what i see in my cards when i see it and your immune system and your hormone system seem to be out of whack here somehow so my advice to you would be to go to your doctor and ask them what the hell is going on with you all right now and you might be watching this and thinking you know what raf i know exactly what's knocked it out right um with that said when it comes to your home and environment this is potentially an argument or a dispute that is on hold because there are other things that are taking precedence what this tells me is there's something that does need to be talked about but at the moment can't be because of whatever it is that whatever else is going on it's like you know when you have a fallout with a family member and then something kicks off in the family and you all pull together you don't really have time to talk about that issue or that thing because you know something else as a common goal as the family is more important but then after that you do still need to talk that's what this says to me all right with everything though I, I gotta say out of all of these patience patience is going to be the thing that gets you through this week all right with that said i wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff let me know in the comments how it shapes up take care and i'll see you soon